Hey friends, tonight we are gonna have a night out at Disney Springs. I'm so excited. I absolutely love hanging out here. We're gonna try some of the Halloween and fall flavored drinks and just show you some of my favorite spots to kind of hang out. So let's go do this. It's still a little bit light out, but we are gonna hang out way into the night and just enjoy all of the adult activities here at Disney Springs. And like I said, we're gonna be trying some adult Halloween drinks. So it's basically Halloween themed drinks with alcohol in it. And they actually have two that are signature to Disney Springs that is actually at all their outside carts. And right here are the drinks. We have the Witch Way and the Jack O' Lantern. Two drinks. I'm gonna get the jack-o'-lantern because it has 151 in it. And Jackie Super Enthused is getting the which way? Which witch? Which way? Me. That way. That way. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look at her. She is making these drinks up good and they look festive already. Ooh. Fancy. Here are those drinks right there. And I gotta say, oh. they don't look very fall festive. We need to spooky it up a little bit. And there you go. That is much better. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned with this drink because it is 151 in here and I actually haven't had Bacardi 151 in quite a while. I hope it's delicious at least. Oh yeah. That is really, really good. Wow. Jackie is enjoying her which way. Yeah. Holy moly. Mm -hmm. The straw matches your hat. I didn't even... Look at that. Wow, that is so awesome. I can't believe, did you not realize I that? I not. Right now, it, because you li it lined up perfectly with your hat. Oh my God. That's really, but how's the drink? Oh, it's really good. It's like a tropical drink. It's a very coconut tasting, like something you would drink on the beach. Ah, uh, so I definitely would say go that way with the which way. The drink is super good, but the straw makes it a little difficult because it's a little bit top heavy. Whoa, did you just see that? And of course, because I have a jack-o'-lantern drink with the jack-o'-lantern on it, I had to come over here and get a picture with the fall into magic at Disney Springs sign. Oh yeah, very fancy. These drinks are very hard, like I said, and especially to walk around with. Yeah. Jackie banded her pumpkin. I took it off. It's just too much. It's like making too the, much. the cup tip. <laughs> oh, I'm keeping mine. Too bad you can't walk and drink, though. Yeah, that's an issue. So we're going to find a spot and enjoy these. Yeah. One of my favorite places to hang out at Disney Springs is Enzo's Hideaway because this actually connects to the Edison and Marie and Enzo's, and it's a real fun walkthrough. And right now, they're actually decorated for Halloween. See that spooky skeleton guarded in the door? I'm so excited to see. So we're gonna walk through it. I've said this before in another video, but if you've ever watched Goodfellas, when you're walking through Enzo's Hideaway, it reminds me of the scene where Henry takes Karen on their first date and they like walk through the kitchen and everything like that. That's how it is here because like everything connects, but it connects like through back doors and stuff like that. So it looks like you're walking in the back of the restaurant, which leads into another restaurant, which is super cool. And look at this. He's actually even playing the harmonica. So let's walk through the hideaway. Look at Oh, look at my Ooh, fancy. Which witch? Hey, friends. Hello. We're gonna walk through if that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, thanks. Whoa. I'm sorry. I just that. <laughs> that hurt your elbow, didn't no, it? Not at all. Not at all. Oh, oh, oh. oh a fortune teller. You, sir. Be careful what you wish. While I see the crown. Bad luck. You got me. All right, my turn. That is so cool. I wasn't expecting a palm reader there, but we're gonna keep on moving along. I am so shocked at how festive it is decorated here at Enzo's Hideaway. Good job, good job to them. As we walk through, take a look at the lights, and then they have bats hanging from the ceiling. This is so cool. Oh wow, little ghost right here. Oh wow, so awesome. I love all of the Halloween decorations in here. We're gonna go from a spooky Enzo's hideaway to the actual Edison, just like in Goodfellas. Oh my gosh. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Come on in this way, yep, to the right. Can I go through this door? Yep. Go through the door. I do feel like I've done this before, but I don't know. Oh! Oh! oh witch. witch beware! Oh! Something's happening. Creepy mirror. 
Creepy mirror. <laughs> and now, right on into the Edison. How cool is that, guys? Isn't it? Look at that. That's where you wash your hands. Definitely one of my favorite places to relax. I think we might get a drink and listen to some live music because this is awesome, isn't it? This really is such a cool bar. And we got a table actually right next to the stage, kind of. But it is a very hopping spot. And because of the social distancing, you can see plenty of tables that aren't available. And it's being Friday night, very busy. Like I said, this place is so awesome. And even though I did get an Oktoberfest beer, I wanted to put my pumpkin in it. I'm not drinking out of the straw. I'm not doing it. I feel like Jackie's pressuring me. I'm gonna try it. One sip. No, that just doesn't go well. It doesn't go well. Look at that food. There's bacon hanging from clothespins. This place is so festive. I'm gonna try to show you some of the cool things as we walk around, but I just love it here. They actually have two bars, one on the first level and then one down there, and that's where we actually walked in from Enzo's Hideaway. This is just such a unique place, isn't it? Like I said, one of my favorite places to hang out at. And take a look at the live music down here. This is so cool, isn't it? I love seeing all of like the steampunk black and white movies. This just mits so well. Usually they have dancers and burlesque show actually. This is definitely not for the kiddos though. But now we're gonna head along and move to our next spot, which is another favorite of mine. And it looks like the springs have definitely come alive. So I'm excited to get to our next destination. But before that, I kind of want to get a glimpse of what the sunset is looking like over here. Wow, guys, look how beautiful that is. Unbelievable. That really sets the mood right here. Thank you for visiting us today. And our next spot is going to be right here at the boathouse. And it's going to be out back with the waterfront dining. They actually have a little bar in the back that I absolutely love. Inside is pretty amazing, but like I said, I absolutely love the dockside bar. It is so cool out there. And it's open seating, so we get to just walk back there and uh, see if anything's available. I'm gonna take a stroll through. It's really pretty. Oh wow, guys, look at this. So awesome, right? And perfect for that sunset. Oh man, I absolutely love it. I'm so excited. And probably the best thing about actually drinking out here is number one, the sunset like we showed before, but you also get to watch the Ampia cars actually coming in. How amazing is that? Jackie! What's happening? Oh my gosh. Look at this Ampha car. Are you kidding me? So cute. They even have complimentary hand sanitizer here. Oh. Want a spritz? Since you're always spritzing me with yeah. the beach club. <laughs> Ooh, fancy, fancy. <laughs> I really love it. Like, I set up the camera because it was just so pretty in the background. Yeah. But we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. We're, we're just kind of just like enjoying it. Like, I want you to see the perspective of the, like, the perks of dining and like drinking out here. Yeah. Like, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is really nice. Cool. And keeping in tradition, we decided to get some Oktoberfest. And this is the sailfish. Sailfish? Sailfish Brewing? Sailfish oh, Brewing Oktoberfest. Fancy. Oh yeah. A proper Oktoberfest can. Did I say bottle? Can. That's the word that I was looking for. Thank you. There you go. Enjoy. Look, there's another car in the water. That is awesome, isn't it? So along with my Oktoberfest beer, I decided to get the filet mignon sliders, which I highly recommend because it's like something that I remember so much when I ate here before, when I came back, I was like, you know what? I remember I got those filet sliders and they were phenomenal. So I got them again. 
And I don't know why, but I just feel the need to keep on putting the jack-o'-lantern in my beers. I'm not gonna drink it out of the straw, but it just looks cool. The last Oktoberfest we had at the Edison was actually Sam Adams, so it's nice to try a different one. And I gotta say, I kinda like this one a little bit more. I mean, it, it's more of a local brewery, but I don't know, it's just, it's, it's a good refreshing beer. And holy moly, guys, the filet sliders have arrived. These are absolutely amazing. This is probably one of my favorite things to eat at Disney Springs. So good that I even dare to say they're much too good for children. So, so good. And the french fries are just as amazing. Absolutely amazing. One of my favorites. Those filet mignon sliders hit the spot. But I think we're gonna move along now. I'm about to finish up my uh, Oktoberfest. And on to the next one. One thing I want to point out about the boathouse though is don't be afraid to kind of explore a little bit because if you actually take the ramp that's next to the bar and you do a, a lap around, it is unbelievable. And I'm going to show you, of course. Take a look at this dining area down here. You actually sit table side with boats. How amazing is it? That's why they call it the boathouse. And it's just so beautiful, isn't it? So That's cool. the bar where we were sitting at. That's the boathouse restaurant. A lot of people don't even know this exists down here, but I absolutely love it. It is so beautiful. Just look at all the nifty looking boats. I absolutely love it. This is amazing, isn't it? And one of my favorite boats they actually have here is this sassy boat. It's a futuristic boat built in England. Look how fancy and cute it looks. That's awesome, isn't it? And for our next spot, we have to hit up Raglan Road. I am so excited. I absolutely love it here. I'm only showing you places I love, so that's why I can say I love all of them. But honestly, this place is a dinner show or a drink show. It is so cool to come here to actually see some live music, live dancers, and have a drink and enjoy all the festivities in here. You're gonna love it. Oh! Nice! Look how festive this is, guys. And how cool is this? They actually have some fall flavored drinks at Raglan Road. That's crazy, right? And of open course. Open right up, miss. Here we go. Here it goes. Open right up. That's the fall flavor right there. You made the same thing as the <laughs> That is awesome. Here is a look at the drinks themselves. I got the sangria and Jackie got the spiced caramel apple martini. I'm excited. I'm excited to try my drink. Oh my gosh, that sangria looks amazing, Nate. Put out your pack of lantern. Get it ready. <laughs> I can't get it off the pumpkin. <laughs> so here is the fall sangria. And of course, we need the pumpkin. <laughs> this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work, Kara. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Why is such a big straw? Why? Oh, oh wow. And then like Jackie's. That's a caramel apple martini. Ooh, this is like a like a pumpkin spice latte of drinks. Yeah, that's it. I gotta try this, but the pumpkin on the straw is too big for this glass. <laughs> this is a huge glass of sangria. Yeah, I'm excited. Is. I've never had sangria with apple cider or anything yeah, in it before. Yeah. Wow, that is delicious. I feel like I'm at a pumpkin patch. That's what I feel like. My drink is so like pumpkin-y, apple-y, like Man. this feels like fall. Wow. It really does have such a great flavor to it. I'm sorry, I need to put the jack-o'-lantern in there. I know it kind of throws off the focus, but it's a Halloween drink with a light up jack-o'-lantern. And like I said, it's basically a dinner show because look at this. In a couple minutes, it's going to get a little bit cooler and I'm going to show you what it has to do with that stage right in the center.
is definitely one of the bigger drinks that I've had all night. This is really worth it, honestly. I love it. Since I just finished up my fantastic sangria, there is another drink on the menu that caught my mind. So I think I'm gonna do a double drink here and then we're gonna hop on to our next spot, hopefully. But this one will kind of give me a little pep in my step, hopefully. And it's gonna be the Bailey Salted Caramel Irish Coffee. Yeah, here we go. All right. You're up first, Smith. Let's hear it. <laughs> because it's actually a hot drink. It's a little hot hot. It's very hot hot. This is so delicious and it's actually hot. The weirdest thing though is it's still served in a wine glass. Woo! I can't wait. Wow. That's the good stuff. And even though it's not very fall themish, I think this is my favorite drink of the night. I know before I said that the sangria was, but after sipping on this a couple times, I really love how it tastes and makes you feel. Bravo. Bravo Raglan Road. <laughs> Look at how amazing that drink looks. Oh, that is a Halloween drink right there. Time to move along, even though honestly we're having a great time here, but we gotta get more done. Woo! Yeah! And I think for the last stop of the night, there's only one place to go, and that's all the way up to the top of the paddlefish. Definitely one of my absolute favorite places to go because it is just such an amazing place to get a good look at all of Disney Springs. Oh, we're going all the way up. Here we go. Oh boy. Third floor, please. Thank you. Jackie, wait till you see these views. Oh my gosh, I haven't been here in forever. Oh yes. For the first time in forever. It got like very like... It muted. got quiet. It got like muted in here. Yep. <laughs> Before we actually get to showing you off the amazing views, we need to get ourselves a drink and we are in luck because they have a pumpkin Manhattan they're actually serving here. So I'm excited to try it. We're really keeping in tradition here. Oh my gosh. Look at this and I some love fancy knob creek. Own, like, batches. Yeah, this is even uh, paddlefish oh, batch you. one. <gasps> you dropped my jack-o'-lantern? All right, there it is, the pumpkin martini. And I just sanitized my jack-o'-lantern, so we're gonna put them in. Good. Hopefully it doesn't overfill it. <laughs> oh wow, it's Ooh, bobbing it's like an apple. Look at that. Apple. Apple right there. All right, it's gonna be hard to move around with the martini, but we're gonna make it. And we found ourselves a nice little table with a view. Oh what a view. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, isn't it? Wow. Tricky cheers because we don't want to spill and they are filled yes. to the brim. But we We're got We're trying to this. cheers martinis. Cheers to cheers. Paul. Oh, that was, that was great. That Little was so ding. Classy. Classy. And take a look at that. The balloon is actually going up for the first time today. This place just has such amazing views. And look at everybody down there just hanging out, doing their thing. It's really cool. You can just walk up here or you can get a table when you check in and below. So much fun. This is so awesome because we got the whole front of the boat to ourselves or the bow. We got the whole bow of the boat to ourselves. We got the whole bow to ourselves. We got the whole bow to ourselves. Oh wow, and as we're sitting up here, they're actually gonna start shooting off the fire at the Rainforest Cafe. Look at this, how cool. I think they're like spouting up the 
Wow, the views from up here are just so amazing, aren't they? It really blows my mind. Rainforest Cafe is spitting out fire. I love it here. And with that, I think we are done here. I had so much fun hanging out at Disney Springs. Tonight was a weekend, which I never come to Disney Springs on the weekend, but it was open till 11 p.m., which is awesome, because normally it closes a little bit earlier. But if you guys ever plan on doing this, and we did a lot, we hopped around and went to different places and tried the, all the Halloween drinks and fall favorites, please drink responsibly don't drive home take your time we show you guys this stuff and it's actually compressed because you're looking at it like you know a 20 minute vlog but we've been here for eight nine hours and plus we're still gonna uber home so please be safe anywho's hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye